Hi guys, I'm P from Duck Online Progress, and today I want to thank Wondershare for sponsoring this video. I have reviewed PDF Element for Windows and Mac in the past, but in this video I want to show you how this software can really simplify the editing of your PDFs on an iPad. Ok, let's start from the beginning. As you can see, PDF Element has many interesting and helpful features. As you can see, you can quickly scan a photo and transform it into a PDF, you can create PDF files from black documents or images, you can compress PDFs and you can easily share them via iCloud Drive, Google Drive, Dropbox and OneDrive, you can also add, delete and modify your bookmarks and you can also set a password to protect your valuable documents. Now let me show you how you can easily download the app from the Apple Store. It only needs a minute. When you open the app, you'll see the different features and the sidebar with several tabs. I think a quick demonstration of the main factions will show you how easy to use is this app. You can use PDF element to scan physical notes and textbook into PDF form. You need to click on plus icon on the bottom right corner. You can also import notes and images, but right now I want to use the scan option. So, you tap on scan, after camera appears, you can select between single page and multi page. You can edit your captions, cropping and removing the unwanted part of the text. Your PDF is ready. You just need to save your copy. Now, if you like, you can edit even more your PDF. You can highlight or underline your text, use the pen, as you see you have different options to choose from. You can erase handwritten notes or you can add a text box. You also have the option to add a note or to add a shape. Different steps. and you may create a signature or use a temporary one. When your editing is completed, you may convert your PDF, add a watermark, print or share your document. You also have the option to set a password if you need to. Convert your PDF to other formats is very simple and you have so many options. When the process is completed, your new document will be saved in the convert file at the main page of your app. In my opinion, 
what makes PDF Elements so unique is the page organization option. You only have to open the PDF file and click on the Organize Pages icon on top right. Now you can choose to rotate, add, delete or copy pages. You may also change the order of your file's pages. So you don't need to scan the notes in seconds. Page organization faction can change the position based on your need. That's so cool, right? If you're afraid that people could use your work for unpermitted purposes, you'll find very useful the watermark option provided by PDF Element. You only need to open or import your document, select the watermark option and choose text or image as the watermark type and make any necessary changes about the size, color and opacity. You can use the tile option to display the watermark as a grid containing multiple copies of the watermark. Overall, PDF Element is the ultimate solution to read, edit, fill, annotate and convert PDFs on iPad. You may think it's comparable to other softwares, but one of the greatest things about PDF Element is how easy it is to edit and create PDFs and other documents. I decided to review this app because I feel that a lot of people, and not only students, will be able to use it. Again, a big thank you to the great people over at Wondershare for sponsoring today's video and remember to check out the links in the description box down below so you can get PDF Element for yourself. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Also follow us on Instagram, link can be found down in the info box. For now, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you on the next one, bye!